They say you're powerless in the face of uncertainty. Really, it's the spotlight that reveals something about you. An uncertainty that was seen 107,000 times. Twice. 90,000 times once. And on average, these Sting videos gain 20,000 views for the Great Outdoors channel. It works. Sort of. It could have been worse. I could have left people even more scared over a million times of each of these insects. It did backfire when viewers got to know Great Outdoors for the crazy stunts it produced. And I'm left waiting for one question. How does Great Outdoors have over a million views and only 7.5k subs? Oh, like, let's pat ourselves on the back. We, that was a little hard. It wasn't as hard as the slap though. No, that was, that hurt. I'm super we proud of y'all. I believe that y'all are here because you sift through the distractions and look for the value hidden down deep beyond the uncertainty. Great Outdoors is known for the uncertain sting and bite videos it produces. They say your first video will be your worst video. It's a spider prey, and then it drives the spider down into a burrow. These guys are often called... It still makes me cringe watching it. Let's keep the extra BS short. Once known for the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom. According to me, it's one of the most painful insect stings in Florida. Daisy Mutella, Here. the cow All the way behind its back, or head, and sting you. If you look closely, you can see it protruding behind its rear of its abdomen right there so that stinger is extremely long and can penetrate very tough skin like a hypodermic needle my first encounter was powerful ah. so powerful i made a laughing grunt sound my nerves were flowing way before this encounter the true potential of this thing was really uncertain my first encounter helped me i built up more courage I wanted to try another species of cow killer. In my second bout with the cow killer, I was stung by a separate species than the Daisy Mutella occidentalis. I was stung by Daisy Mutella bioculata, a slightly smaller species of velvet ant. However, both are found here in Florida. The constant echoes of criticism and allegations that my first cow killer sting was not real lit a fire in me. I wanted to be sure that it was real obvious. Oh, there's a good one. That was the deepest one yet. It stung me right there. This is five days later. However, not as strong as the original Daisy Mutella occidentalis. I have one of the most feared insects in the animal kingdom. This is Daisy Mutella occidentalis, the cow killer. On the count of three. One, two, three. Come on, Daisy Motella, give me that sting. Come on, I know it's a big one. It's really important that I get a good visual too. So maybe that's a better angle for everybody else. Oh yeah, there it is. I feel the sting. Oh gosh, oh her stinger was lodged in my arm. Great. Okay, here we go, we're gonna get a good sting now. Come on. Her, oh, her stinger's chasing. It's chasing her, okay. It's definitely stabbing. Stabbing me, instant burn. Um, how bad is that in, in comparison? The swelling has gotten pretty uncomfortable. You'll notice the swelling is actually getting larger over time. If you see swelling like this, you probably might wanna seek some medical attention because this is getting worse. This is the morning of day two. Day three and I woke up last night profusely itching and burning. Uh, the swelling hasn't subsided that much. If this goes on for another day, I'm probably gonna end up going to the doctor and, and getting some kind of antibiotics for it. Um, if you see your arm swelling like this, I would suggest going and seeking medical treatment. I gotta be honest, I never anticipated the amount of swelling and the duration of swelling from the calculator that I received. It really just goes to show you that not only does the size of the wasps matter, but the duration of the actual sting injection matters. I am 90% sure I was induced with more venom than I had ever been induced. And this was probably the worst reaction I've ever had to any sting due to me, for one, taking a second sting, which I probably should have never done, and two, because I held the stinger there for so long. It hurts 